slide. Temple Grandin. Temple Grandin, we all know Temple Grandin, scientist, brilliant, helped many animals, says she thinks in pictures, this was her problem, she thought only in pictures going through her mind. And the pictures were so uh, clear that she can rerun the movies and see tiny details. That's how she was able to work out how to help the cows and other animals. She says about relationships, no normal relationship part of other people. Oh, she has no normal relationships. Part The part of other people that have relationships, emotional relationships is not a part of me. A perfectly Aquarian comment. Um, she's hypersensitive to noise and sensory stimulation and loves science fiction, math and riding horses. And look at this situation. First of all, let's look at Mercury. Mercury is an aversion to the moon. Mercury is an aversion to Saturn. Mercury is super strong. It's in a super strong house. It's in its best sign, Virgo. It's only degrees away from its point of exaltation. It rules the sun. She has a very strong stimulation and it's getting some action from Mars. Uh, it looks like a nice action, uh, but it's still stimulus. No squares to Mercury. No squares to anything. That Nothing, same thing. Um, bizarre, these charts are so similar. I was, somebody had written on the web that they thought autistic charts were as different as snowflakes. Well, they are, but if you know how to look at things holistically, there's all kinds of similarities as a signature that you only see here. Uh, a lot of schizophrenics have these too, similar charts. Um, the moon is isolated in the house of the mind, opposing Saturn, quincunx Mercury. So both Mercury and the moon have nothing to do with Saturn. Get out of here, Saturn. And the ascendant is very weak, very weak. The ruler is in the 12th, so the ruler of the ascendant, just like Ptolemy says, is an aversion to the 12th, to, it, to the ascendant. And it's on the south node. It's in a karmic house. Curiously, a, a sign that loves animals very much. And south node, Jupiter on Saturn means you get to pay your karma through good deeds and generosity. Now, the moon is also um, squaring the nodes by sign, which does not help it. But Singleton moons are very frequent in all kinds of mental suffering. Hers is an Aquarius, the sign that rules. People with moon and Mercury and Aquarius are very, very, very sensitive to EMF fields. They pick up stuff psychically. They're like live antennas because uh, Aquarius has a lot to do with the spinal nerves along with Sag, but it's far more sensitive than Sag and often suffers. Aquarius moons sometimes don't like crowds. They can't stand loud noises. Um, now, it's a very inventive, remarkable mind, but it's in the house of her mind. But what thinks in pictures? The moon. We also have a moon-sun aversion. So we have every indication of every single indication of hyper-mercury autism rather than hypo-mercury autism and Every possible aversion, misfits between the body and the soul, misfits between the thinking mind and the rational mind, uh, things that form consistency, you know, having trouble. But she's very, very, very intelligent. Her mercury just could not be stronger. So as we see, we've had three cases where Mercury could not be weaker and three cases where Mercury could not be stronger. And there's more male emphasis on these cases with seizures or hyperstimulation, but everything else is very similar. 